The city of Detroit makes a deal with the owners of the Ambassador Bridge in exchange for improvements to Riverside Park. Fox News' Charlie Langton joins us live to explain what this means and why some critics aren't on board. And this has been going on, what, for almost 10 years, Charlie? Yeah, 2015, Tara. Uh, John, why don't you just, uh, this is Riverside Park, where I'm at right now, southwest Detroit, by the Ambassador Bridge. Just take a look at how beautiful this part is. I remember, Charlie, when it was just barren waste over here. But the city cleaned up Riverside Park. You see the city skyline here. I was supposed to take a picture of it for a client of mine, but I'm just too busy having some hoops. And arguably, that 2015 deal between the city and the owner of the Ambassador Bridge cleaned up Riverside Park. In the list of demands, just gets longer each time. Matthew Maroon speaking to the Detroit City Council, promising to work with the city, and in particular, Southwest Detroit, on future projects. But first, Maroon wants the city to honor its part of the Riverside Park deal from 2015. We've got other issues that are unrelated to, to Riverside Park. Those need to be dealt with. And I promise that we can deal with them, and I promise that we can come to mutually positive outcomes. But let's talk about that deal from 2015. This is very, very basic contract law. Maybe, but essentially in 2015, the city and Maroon's bridge company cut a deal. Detroit gets 4.71 acres in Riverside Park. Maroon will demo a building and clean up the environment. And Maroon's company gets 3.71 acres. Maroon did his part, but the city didn't. The fact that we are in current breach of the 2015 land exchange agreement places the city in potential jeopardy. Well, I think they should go along, go along, go fix it up. You know, finish fixing it up because uh, it's beautiful. And by a six to three vote, the council approved the land deal. However. Um, but I think it's important that even though the vote went through that we hold you accountable to your word. And I do believe that you will continue to negotiate. All right, so as you heard there, the city council did approve the land deal. Really, the deal back in 2015 was really had nothing to do with residents' complaints. Oh, yes, residents complain because what the residents would like, they're a little bit worried that if the owner of the bridge expands the bridge, they're worried about l maybe losing their houses, which is on St. Ann Street, just across over there. Can't really see it here, but it's across uh, Ford Street. Anyway. By the way, maybe lost in this thing, the city also got $5 million from the owner of the bridge company. Three of it has already been paid. Two million will be paid to the city as soon as the city signs the deal to transfer that land. City Council approved it today. Everybody should be happy. Well, let's see. That's the deal from 2015. Anything after that, as you heard, the city wants Matthew Maroon to give them updates. But that would be a new deal. Only today, basic contract law enforced the 2015 contract. That's what happened. Taryn, back to you. It's, it is messy, Charlie, and we know it's been going on for almost a decade, but what makes that deal so different than what happened eight years ago from what happened with this deal today with the city council? I mean, what makes this one so much more powerful? A great question because this, John, just take a look at this this park right here. What is it about? A little after five o'clock on a freezing cold day, you've got people playing in in uh, Riverside Park. Peep, this park was a disaster years ago, and a lot of the city, what they did was they got the land back. That uh, Matthew Maroon, the bridge company, made promises to fix the park, do an environmental study, etc. And this is a beautiful, beautiful park. And so now the residents here in Detroit, Southwest Detroit, where I'm at right now, um, they've got a beautiful park. But the deal's not totally done. Matthew Maroon wants land. I don't know if you can see it. It's over that way by mm -hmm. the bridge, maybe for future expansion, etc. The deal is different today because this park was a disaster. Now it's very good. Now, both parties, the city and the bridge company, should move forward for other projects. But you got to also take care of the people that live here. You don't want to displace them. That was their concern. But you can't go backwards on a 2015 deal. That's them. The future is the future. Well, let's hope Taren? that both sides keep up their end of the bargain. Char